Hello everyone, I don't know why I do that, but today we will be conquering the elimination method. So the elimination method basically is a method that you either add or subtract the equations to get a variable out of the, those equations. Is that right? Let me check. Let me see if I said that even correctly. Okay, basically you add or subtract the equations to get an equation in one variable. I think I said that correctly. Did I say that correctly? I am very, very bad memory, but I'm weird because I'm really good at math and English, but I got a terrible memory, so... Yep. You add or subtract the equation to get an equation in one variable. I gotta I gotta get my memorization skills, but, you know, sometimes you're good at one thing, but you're not good at another, and that's okay. I'm like that. I'm good at, you know, math, and I'm not good at science. I'm good at science, but I'm not good at remembering things. So, well, enough about my memory problems. Let me, t let me give you an example. So, here we got number one. Now, number one... We have 3y plus 2x equals 6, and 5y minus 2x equals 10. These are systems of linear equations. I'm sure you've learned that in your class, what they are. So here, it's really easy. Add or subtract, blah, 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 whatever they say. So the elimination method, basically, you see how you have 2x here and minus 2x here, and we want to find our x and y. This is really easy for us, because now we could just eliminate this, and this becomes 0. That's the elimination method. Basically, you want to eliminate the like terms. This is like in vertical form. You have to have it vertically, like sort of like this. Basically, what you want to do is you want to eliminate these terms to have your y or have your x. So in this case, we're going to eliminate these terms to get our y and then put one the y term back into, you know, this and one of these. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So we have 3y and 5y. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add these so it will become... 8y, you know, um, plus 8y, and you know, the zeros, since it's just zero, it cancels out, equals 6 plus 10, which is just 16, and of course, divide by 8 both sides to find your y, see so like this, and there you go, y equals 2, see, y equals 2. And then after that, you can plug y in either this or this. I'm going to plug it into, um, I don't know why I do that with my hair, but I don't care. So I think I'm going to plug it into um, this first one because the first one looks easy to me. So I'm going to plug y equals 2. I don't. I want to use a different color because I'm just really colorful and I like colors. So yeah, I'm just a colorful person. And we're going to plug this beautiful y equals 2 into this thing right here, this beautiful thing right here. I, I don't have a list, but what is a list? I don't, oh wait, I don't have one. Okay, so anyway, y equals 2, put it in here. So you'll have 3, 2, plus two, 3 times 2, so put 2 back into this first one, plus 2x equals 6. Now multiply, you know, 3 times 2, you know, 6. So you got 6 plus 2x equals 6. Now subtract 6 from both sides. Of course, you're going to get, you know, you got to do that. Why, why wouldn't you do that? Find a software x. And then you got 2x equals 0. So, of course, divide 2 from both sides. And you'll have x equals um, 0. And so... Our x and y for this is just 0 and 2. By, I'm going to put elimination method. By elimination method. My, bleh, I can't even, I can't even talk and it irritates me. God, I love throwing things. And I drop things. I hope the camera's in focus. Because if it isn't, I will have to record this and I do not want to record it again. So, I'm going to put elimination method and I can't spell... I'm 
just gonna say elimination because I'm too lazy to write method. Eh, maybe, I'll write, you know what, I'll write it because I like writing. I can't spell. Okay, there we go. Elimination method. Now, let's do not, let's do example. I was out of the frame, sorry. Let's do example number two. I don't even know, I am, I am really, I go off topic. And I'm doing that again. So let's go back to number two. So number two. And now sometimes when you do the elimination method, you have, you may have a little bit of a problem. You may have trouble with, um, you know, finding how to eliminate this. Well, don't worry, because here's what you can do in the elimination method. You can multiply, you can basically multiply a neg negative or positive number. Yeah, negative or positive, yeah, number in either the x term or the y term to cancel them out. So like for example, I know that may be a little unclear. Like for a number, let's do the first first set up here. This first set. So um, you see how you can't technically eliminate them? So for the first set, I'm going to multiply this whole thing up here. I'm just going to draw it. Yeah, I'm going to multiply this whole thing up here by negative four because I know I have negative five, I have negative, I have positive four right here. And if I, I know if I multiply negative four times the y here, they're gonna be easy to eliminate. So I'm gonna, and listen, when you multiply negative four, make sure you do this for all of it. You can't do it just for one, you have to do it for all, for the whole thing. We're gonna multiply negative four to this whole equation. And we will have, I'm just gonna draw a little line you have to multiply negative four, you know, the whole thing. Negative four times positive three uh, x is negative twelve x. Negative four times y is minus four y. Negative four times nine is just minus thirty six, of course. Why wouldn't it be? And then just bring you know five x, the normal equation down. Okay. Now it's easy to, it seems a little bit more easier to eliminate. Now we can eliminate these four y's and we'll have minus 12x, you know, minus 12x plus 5, which is just um, minus 7x. And then we'll have minus 36, minus 36 plus 22, which is just, um, yeah, negative 14. And then divide both sides by negative 7. You know, you have to then, you know, do this. Minus 36 plus 22 is just negative 14 divided both sides by negative 7. I sometimes talk really fast. I'm sorry. And then these, you know, you got x equals, then here you got x equals negative x equals positive 2. Now plug this back into either this one, or you can plug it back into this one. It doesn't really matter. but. I want to plug it back into, now you can plug this in either this or this if you want, but I think I'm going to plug, I don't really think it matters where you, what, what, whether you plug it in the original or the, the copy, I don't think it really matters if you plug it in, you know, this or that, but I would suggest to you, if you plug it back in, I'm going to plug it back in this one, because it's easier for me. I'm going to plug back in here because it seems more easy for me. I just want to be simple. It's 22. This is 10, of course, plus 4y plus 22. Minus 10 from both sides. Subtract 10 from both sides. We're going to subtract 10 from both sides. That's what we're going to do. And then, you know, do your thing. 4y equals 12. Now I get 12. 12. Positive 12. 4y equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. And in the end you'll have y equals um I think 3. And what you solved, and you got this beautiful thing right here. Let me just put boxes around these. So then um this here, here. I don't know if you can see it, but probably you can. You know what? This is here. This is what it looks like here. So, if you can see it, 
can't, okay, no, this is how it looks like, so I'm going to assume that you can see it, and we've done this with elimination method too, so yay, and so our x and y for this is basically um, 2 and 3, that is our x and y, and that is beautiful, look at that, look at this, it's x and y, look at, look at how beautiful that is, look at that, look, look, I'm sorry, look, look at that, look at how beautiful that is, look at that x and y, look at that, so anyway, um, Step one we did here, uh, I don't know if it's in focus. I'm gonna assume it's in focus. We're gonna assume it's in focus. I'm throwing this pen. So anyway, um, we did elimination method. Sometimes you got this, it's easy. It's very, very blatantly obvious. Just, you know, cancel that, just cancel that. And then you're gonna get, you know, do you combine your like terms and you'll have 8y equals 16 for us, 8y equals 16. Divide both sides by, you know, solve for y or x. You got, we had, in this case, we had y equals 2. Plug y equals 2 and either this one or this one, but I plugged it in the first one. So that's what we did, and we had x equals 0. I attacked really fast, I'm so sorry. And then we have number 2, which is just, you know, this right here. I mean, I'm sorry, this is really, really, really bad and sloppy. Why can't I write neat? I don't have anything in here that I can... Okay. Red side. All right. Alright, so now we have this thing here, and sometimes you're not so lucky, and you got to do some work, and um, what we did here was multiply, you, you can either multiply a positive number or a negative number to either the y or x, and then it'll eliminate, eliminate, what you, eliminate those y's and x's, we want that to be gone. And by the way, when you're do, when you're multiplying the number, you want to multiply it to everything. Just the first top. Don't multiply the bottom. Multiply this first whole equation. Multiply the first whole equation you see. You want to do that. So we did that. We got x equals 2. Solved it. Eliminate. Yeah. Eliminated it. Eliminated it. We eliminated it. I cannot talk. And we had x equals 2. And then we plugged it in this one because I thought it was easier. You can plug it in either this one, this one, this one. And you plug it, plug it in this, this, or this, and you'll still have your same answer, I guarantee. And we did that, I plugged it in this because it was easier for me. I just, you can do it, you can, you can plug it in either one. And I want to make it easy on myself, so I did that. And I had y equals 3 and x equals 2, and that is your x and y value. So that is how you conquer this elimination stuff today. That is how you conquer it. And, um... Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment below telling me what problems I should help you conquer next. And I'm going to go now because I'm hyper. And I'm just going to go now. So, bye.